You're really kind of walking a mile in another person's shoes. You know, you can watch movies, you can watch, you know, great programs like Band of Brothers and Saving Private Ryan, and you can get uh, a really strong idea of what what it was like to be a soldier in World War II, but until you're actually in this situation, until you're actually in this aircraft, wearing those parachutes, it doesn't really hit home for you. Until you actually go and, and put boots on the ground, you don't really understand what it was that those guys went through, being able to experience just a piece of that uh, by performing the air operations makes the biggest difference for being able to, to keep their stories alive. We're the World War II Airborne Demonstration Team. Uh, our job is to remember, honor, and serve all of our airborne veterans, uh, remembering their stories, taking them on, and demonstrating to people what it was like to actually be an airborne trooper during World War II. We are jumping out of World War II aircraft using World War II uniforms and equipment as period correct shoots as we possibly can so we're able to actually demonstrate what that actually was like to, to function as a paratrooper in World War II. Hi, uh, my name is Steve Minot. We're right now at the airfield at Camarillo Airport. Uh, right now we're uh, performing an air show, uh, doing an airborne demonstration. So I'm currently serving active duty in the military right now. And th this is a chance for me to not only get away, but you know, be with other veterans uh, of you know, my age and then plus two before me. And the best part is interacting with the public, teaching them about what came before them, and you know, and plus two, open our eyes up to a new world. I mean, it's not just, you know, airplanes. You, there was guys that actually, you know, had to come out of them to, you know, stop tyranny. So we're flying in a C-47 aircraft. Uh, it was a primary uh, jump base for airborne operations in World War II. They were doing glider operations. They were doing aerial resupply out of C-47s. Uh, at our uh, facility in Oklahoma, we have uh, two C-47s that we fly out there, so we're actually able to fly and jump in formation. Uh, and these are the exact planes. This plane that I'm sitting in right now flew in D-Day, flew in Operation Market Garden, flew the resupply uh, in, in the Battle of the Bulge, as well as did Operation Varsity at the end of the war. I would say the best way to say it is uh, the adrenaline rush that comes before it, then the sheer like unknown that you're jumping into with the half second of terror as you're going out the door and feeling the blast from the props, you know, and then watching the plane fall away. And as soon as your parachute opens, everything becomes the most peaceful thing ever. You can hear everything around you and the world is just right. The whole thing is remember, honor, serve. We're remembering everyone that came before us. We're honoring what they did, and you know we're gonna serve in the best capacity that we can to keep their memory alive.